Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to an idiot's guide to travelling. Okay, so it's not really an idiot's guide, it's my journey. Well, I'm on the first leg of my journey and uh, heading from the middle of the country down to London. Now, I did make a little mistake in that uh, I left too much time before my uh, first train. And when I got to the station, it, it was closed. So I had to wait around in the cold for a while before it opened up. So I went from the cold of outside to the cold of the platform. And now the heating and lighting on the uh, carriage that I'm in isn't working. So I'm in the cold there as well. Seems to be a bit of a running theme. They did offer us seats further down the train, but uh, in true British style, I stuck to my guns and decided I was going to sit miserably in the seat that I'd uh, the, uh, seat that I'd reserved. Well, let's see what happens next. Wrong word. Legged it through the underground and dashed onto a train, a third train. <sighs> Only just got on before the doors closed. There was another train, like four minutes after, but I had to get this one because, you know, it was possible. It felt like a challenge. So. Not long now until we get to the next bit. But after all that running through the underground and down through Victoria, I'm knackered. <laughs> Probably should have waited for the next one. Never mind. the airport pretty much the time I thought so that's the bit I was most worried about so hopefully we'll be alright for the next bit. Small mistake number I can't remember I lost track. I needed to buy locks for my bags. Um, how I pack my bag without locking it, I have no idea. So uh, I'm just going to do that, bought them, and I'll check in. was on the runway and now we're not back well where we started we haven't gone anywhere yet something to do with engine number two so there was a problem with engine number two some sort of problem with one of the pumps in it um, an engineer came and after just over an hour of sat there waiting he pushed it in and pulled it out and they gave it another try and then the engine seemed to start okay so we had a go at taking off and as you can see we stayed in the air well I just got here I'm in the flat hi that plane journey was a long one that's the longest short journey I've ever had um, picked up my keys for this place at the desk uh, I've got a taxi here Now, there was a number out the front, so I knew which building it was, but when I got in, I'm on the 8th floor. Not that you'd know that, there's no numbers 
to say what floor you're on. And uh, there's no apartment numbers either, so I just kind of had to guess which one it was. And uh, yeah, that was that was good fun guessing that. Uh, luckily, I managed to wander around for a while and find it. But I think I'm just going to go to bed now. No, I'm going to have to go to the store. Off to the store. Well, that was the shortest trip ever. It's Sunday. It's half past seven local time. Everything's closed. I reckon if I went into the centre of Geneva, I'd probably find something open there. I'm too tired. I really can't be bothered. If I get to the office early, I'll have breakfast there. Oh, and I found an easy way of determining what floor I need to be on. Mine's the bloody top one. Here we go. Okay, day two. Now day one, got here eventually. A few mishaps on the way, but in. Didn't have any food. Ended up eating complimentary biscuits, sweets and juice. However, day two, and I'm back from work, and I have sustenance. I have basics, including bread and pizza, and I have further basics, like bin bags and chocolate cake. I figured with these bits and bobs that I've got, I can at least sustain myself for another day or two. Which is good, because the, the shop closes like, 15 minutes after I leave work and I've got to walk there but don't worry, it's only about a 5 minute journey so I'm usually ok however today's big problem is power and namely this my phone I have brought with me a charger however the charger is a mains charger not a USB charger and I have no mains adapters for this accommodation I, I don't need it, all the appliances already have it so I'm going to have a look at what I've got and what I need. Well, what I need is power for this. What I've got is power in this, my laptop. It is charged at the office with one of the power cables here. So if that's full of charge, I need to figure out a way of getting that to the, lap, uh, to the phone. Now, luckily, I decided to bring some uh, Warhammer with me to make up, which means I have knives and glue and a cutting board. So let's see what I can jerry-rig. This could be interesting. Now, what I have with me is my Galaxy Tab. I didn't expect to bring it with me for any particular reason. I just, when I go places, I carry it with me in case it's useful. That's also got charge in it. However, like my phone, I brought a UK plug thinking I'd be able to get an adapter at the airport and which in the, I couldn't find one and I was running out of time so I left it. So, that is fairly useless. But what might be useful is the charge cable. Now, taking off the UK plug reveals something I hadn't noticed before. There's the UK plug, there's the mains to USB part. On the bottom it's got a standard um, I think, I don't know what the technical term is, I call it a radio lead. And I think there's one here. Be right back. Right, so, what I was thinking is that if I get rid of this bit, because I thought it was useless, and take the USB part, USB to, well, Samsung tab adapter, and take my cable for my phone, usually mains get to that, and splice the USB micro with the USB A socket together, cut the cables open with my craft knife, 
then I might be able to, with the glue and some winding, wind the cables, splice the two together so that I could juice the power from my laptop USB cable to my phone. Now, I don't see why that wouldn't work, however, I accidentally stumbled across something else. I was all prepared and geared up to do that when I found this. It's an old router modem that um, isn't used in this apartment anymore. The people that own it left it in the bottom of a drawer. In that drawer, there is this cable, a mains cable for that. Now that mains cable goes into a com an adapter and then goes into the device. Now I'm not going to splice this, it's not mine. But what I noticed was, is at the back of the power adapter is a simple radio. Radio, that's what I'm calling it, socket. So if we bring back this adapter that's meant for my Galaxy Tab, get rid of the UK part, keep the socket and USB part, if I plug that into there, so I've got mains to radio into the device, it gives me USB, oh, I'm still fecked, because then I still haven't got a USB cable into this. I'm going to have to splice. 